Hi and welcome to the video training of Node.js. In today's video training, we will be accessing NASA APIs using Node.js. We will create a small web app using a Node Express server and Node Fetch module. We will create couple of APIs which will fetch data from NASA APIs and display us data from NASA. First of all, you need to create a project directory. So let's go to the console and let's create a project directory and let me call it NASA and let me set the permissions now go into the directory initialize the node project npm init y so we have package.json now we are ready to install express server Okay, it's installed now let's install node fetch module okay we are also done with that so let's move on to next step now get your free api from nasa you just need to visit api.nasa.gov so just go to api.nasa.gov and you just need to fill a simple form here it's called generate api key form just need to enter your first name last name and email address you don't need to give application url it's optional and when you click sign up you will get your public api key from nasa and which will you be using in this app now you are ready to create your own space app so let's create our server program let me call it index.js and okay think sudo sublime sudo okay okay we have this here now and first of all let's create the express object by requiring the express server module the second thing we need to do is create the fetch object by requiring the node fetch library that we have installed the third thing is to use the app object by creating the express instance and now let's define some of our custom variables one is server port let's set it to 3000 then let api key this is the api key that we will get from nasa i'll add my api key you can get your own from nasa okay let's first create a an endpoint earth which will be displaying images from NASA's satellite related to planet Earth. Request, request and response. Okay, let's set the longitude. Longitude equals minus 95.33 at latitude equals 9.78 let date of image two thousand eighteen this is the date on which this image was taken by the satellite let api url this is the url that you need to get from nasa's website if you go here overview and browse apis you need to go to earth and here you will find this endpoint it's right here so you just need to copy that url and paste it in your program this http let us copy that from there so we can save time just copy link address and paste it here 
now we can embed our longitude variable dollar curly braces longitude and here is the latitude dollar latitude and the date of image date of image that's it that's all you need to do and here the our api key will come save the file and okay last html equals image colon image source it's api dot p underscore ul style width 100% let's close the image tag and now add some HTML breaks now let's send the response back to the web page which is already Pause.send function and we are done with the earth endpoint. Now let's move to next endpoint that is picture of today. So we will be creating another route that says picture of today and again we have request and response. Okay and for picture of today we need the api url and if you go to nasa's website it's on the very top it's right here an astronomy picture of the day so if you scroll down a bit you will find it right here planetary a pod so just copy this copy link address and paste it here and here you need to place it with your api key and now we need to do the html we need to fetch the url first using the node fetch module api url load then response okay response dot json dot then data <laughs> let define the html object date colon plus data dot date add some breaks HTML breaks now we need to concat HTML and need to set the title the image that is data dot title and now we need to add the description data dot description the explanation it's the end and at the end we need to embed the image of today and this needs to define the html image tag data dot hd url this is the high definition url the image I'm going to set it to width 100% so it fits our browser otherwise it's a very very large image we need to scroll a lot 
to see the whole image that's it and in the end we just need to spawns.sim html Okay, here we can add catch for catching any errors if they occur. Console.log error and let's save the file. So we have earth and now we have picture of today. Now let's move on to the last one that is Mars. Now we are going to fetch pictures from Mars. That is from Curiosity Rover Robot that is on Mars. And I'm going to call it Mars. So we have request response and let's set the API URL. Again, you need to get that api url from nasa's website if we go to mars rover photos you scroll down a bit and here you will find this url just copy that and paste it here but we need to add some parameter here like pagination so we don't need to get all the pictures at one time so we can set it here page equals one and api key is equal to this is our api from nasa and now we have the api url now we need to fetch API URL dot then response response dot JSON then we have then dot data here we will doing our stuff data dot photos and let HTML equals okay. Now I'm going to loop through the JSON which have been returned from this API because we need to get all the pictures, photos, and their specific titles from the JSON. HTML equals okay we can do this way as well mm. camera colon plus data dot this is an array camera dot full name this is the name of the camera that took the photo rear camera back camera front camera whatever it is then we can print out the earth date which is data d dot earth date and then we have the rover name data d dot rover dot name plus landing date okay 
that d dot rover dot landing date plus add in table break image source data d dot img src plus let's close the image html image tag add some breaks and we are done with our loop and now we are ready to send this html to the web page and let's add catch block just in case if we get an error so dot log error and at the very end we are going to add some headers this will be our landing page of our web application so if we if someone comes to our website let's say spaceapp.com he will get to see this page first with the menu very very simple anchor tags nothing else earth this is a closing tag we add a break okay, let's copy this and here we get Mars Mars and at the very end we have picture of today and the link will also say picture of today and send that HTML to the browser now let's start the server at the end app dot listen server port started server at http localhost colon this is our server port okay one thing left here let's define this html on the top let's create a header variable and keep all this html the menu in that header and now we are going to use this header on top of every page so html header or we can simply send header here we can get header in the html similarly here we can concat the header as well and in the earth api we just need to concat that as well so we are done with our web application now let's go to console and start node dot is not this it says started server at localhost 3000 now let's go to the browser and type in localhost 3000 so we have our menu here earth mars and picture of today so let's look at earth okay we didn't edit our api key so let me get my api key okay, i have added my api key now now let's 
restart our server and go to the earth and there you go we have the earth image and now let's go to Mars now we should be able to see the images from Curiosity robot that is on Mars and this is the day when this picture was taken by the front hazard avoidance camera this was taken on the landing date of Curiosity is 2012 and these are images from the Mars surface with pretty much details and last but not least we have picture of today if you click on that we get the picture of today from NASA it says the pelican nebula in red and blue and this is the description of about this image so we have successfully created our mini web app utilizing NASA APIs I hope that you have liked this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel feel free to contact me at umahmood at gmail.com my LinkedIn address is linkedin.com slash in forward slash umahmood or contact me through my twitter handle see you next time with a new topic in node.js the source code of this video training is also available in the video description on github on my github repository and the url of github repository is given in the video detail page you just need to add your api key